Report, brethren, welcome to the Cabinet of Curiosities exhibition. Replete with wisdom for rich and poor alike. A cornucopia of story, poetry and art from our older communities. Hello, I'm Matthew Lawrenson, project manager of the Cabinet of Curiosities. We have been travelling to the Sydney Gale and the Harbour House Care Homes and the Memory Cafe, taking museum artefacts directly into care homes to galvanise stories, poetry, art and memories. I've been working with two uh, specialists, a poetry practitioner and an arts practitioner, and we've been taking those articles directly to people, which caused a fountain of stories and information. Yeah, amazing privilege to go in and speak to the, the residents at the care homes and the memory cafe. Mm. And yeah, just kind of get a little glimpse of just that richness of experience that they, that they have, or that each and every human being does have yeah. uh, of the older generation. And, yeah. and uh, we were also privileged to set up an exhibition which champions the work of older people in our communities. And we've discovered that the effect of such an exhibition is to create a lot of connections for other people. Okay, this one has got beach huts and I think it's a real shame we don't have um, beach huts now. That would be such an addition. There will probably be houses around here too. It's lovely to see. It was much more open then, much more open. Well, that's very interesting. Yes, I think it's uh, been put out quite nicely. And uh, another thing which has been great is just all the people who've come into the exhibition and, you know, that, that lady I mentioned who's Abbotsbury. Oh, yeah, I've got something to say about Abbotsbury. Yeah, and the Cornix person. Yeah, absolutely. They, that um, art teacher that we were chatting to yeah, who used to go down on the <laughs> sleep on the beach underneath the cliffs at West Bay. Um, and a uh, chap coming around earlier had a really weird looking tool with him and I just commented about it and it turns out that this was for what they call dock roots yeah, yeah which would then oh. excavate the root and then you'd soak that and then that would basically be part of the rope making process it's, it's nice people have felt empowered to yes. like oh I've got a story about this yeah. and yeah and you never know where people's stories are going to go to and I think I, I lo I've loved that about it that thing of just literally not knowing what you're going to hear, what's mm. going to come up, that's really kind of exciting. Yeah, absolutely. And from an artist's perspective, not knowing what's coming is, yeah, is yeah, crazy. Yeah. You've got to yeah, think on your feet and um, yeah. respond to it, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, you know I said about those new houses they've built yeah. in the back garden. Yeah. One of them's over where my grand's toilet used to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. So uh, we, we have also, uh, because of the local history aspect to this work, we had created a street show based on Dr. Roberts, the local apothecary, who was uh, very kind to rich and poor alike, gave free advice to the poor, and we think he would have been very interested in this current epidemic of dementia and Alzheimer's, which is growing at the moment in our communities. So we created a fun show to bring people into the exhibition to uh, create a bit more fuss to bring these concerns to light, and it worked. Oh, I feel much better. <laughs> <laughs>